This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson circuits and physical prototypes. Smart Bike Buzzer. Now that we know how to add more buttons, you can add a button to control the Smart Bike's horn. Using the button that you've already wired to the board, find a good spot to place your horn button. Then, create a button object for your horn button. Add an event handler to the button. To add an event handler to buzz when the button is pressed. Okay, so we're going to add another. Button. So it looks like we've already added a button. What they mean by adding an object is we need to create a name for it. We need to declare a variable for our button. So down here, I guess I'll just call mine horn and then create LED. Hmm, it's not going to be an LED though. Uh, create LED. Create button. Ah, that's what I should have grabbed here. We can just do that. Oh, perfect and horn and then oh and my lights are here now too but i'll be shifting those around so i'm just going to put left at one because my horn's now at zero and then i need a on event so on the event of well didn't i create a button create a button on the event of the object that you've created won't be on the event board drop down. Oh, you'll, we're just going to type it in, right? So we made this object horn. And so I'm just writing it in down here, horn. Um, and so when the horn button is down, what do I want? Well, I want to do what they did last time, which is buzzer frequency, I think. And then we can kind of decide maybe, uh, I don't know. 200 by and remember if you forget it's let go right here it's the frequency and the duration so maybe a uh, 200 by 6 or something let's give that a shot let's hear it okay so now I'm gonna I hit play I'm gonna push mine two together which is simulating a button being pressed down and we got a bike horn! Whoops. Whoops. Technical difficulties. <laughs> bike horns are dangerous. Awesome. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going.